Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to deploy our application into devices of the several supported platforms. We've already seen how to deploy the application for test purposes. Now, we'll see how to do it for an actual install. Let's discuss on how to do it for Windows Mobile or Windows E platforms. If you already have done a test on PDA, you already have the platform and the application on the device. The next step is to open the folder where Calypso is. We run kclient. We now see our project listed and we are going to select it and press shortcut. We say yes. And this creates a direct access to our application without having to run kclient. Let's close it. And let's check out the start menu. Here's our application. Let's open it. And everything working as expected. If we press exit, the application closes. If by any chance you can't connect by USB to your device, you can still install your application. Under the Deploy menu, we select Generate Project Folder and choose the target platform. In this case, Windows Mobile. Calypso generates a folder that we can now copy and paste onto the mobile device, through an SD card, for instance. Once the folder is copied, just follow the steps we've seen. If you need to install your application in a Windows desktop, we pretty much do the same thing. Under the Deploy menu, we select Generate Project Folder and choose Desktop Platform. Calypso generates the folder that we can now copy and paste onto any Windows XP, 7, 8, etc. Once the folder is copied, we can run kclient. We do the same steps to create the shortcut. Select, shortcut, say yes, OK. But in this case, the shortcut is created under the Calypso folder. And it's up to us to move it to wherever we want. I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to paste it in the desktop. Double click to launch our application. Here it is. Let's close it. Going back to the designer, and regarding Android, you can either work in the same way as Windows Mobile through the test on PDA feature, or you can generate your own APK, which is an Android application package. Notice that it's not possible to generate a folder and copy it to the device. So, to generate an APK, you need to have JDK installed in your system. Once you do that, you can go to Deploy and select Generate Project APK. You should specify your company's domain and name. Then, specify the name under which the application should be shown in Android. In theory, you never need to set up the version number if the Auto Increment option is on. This number is from which Android warns you or not if your application is up to date. If someone has your APK with version number 4 installed and you upload a new one with version number 5, he will be notified. You can also define an icon. Unlike Windows, Android expects a high resolution PNG 256 by 256 for instance. I'm going to leave the default icon as always. The next step is highly important. We need to sign the application and in order to sign it, we need a signature file. It's important that you create your own signature file. To do it so, press Next and select Use Company Signature. Press this button here to bring up the window to generate a new signature file. Let's select the folder where to create the signature file. I'm going to place it in the desktop. Then. We need, we need to specify the file name, the password, the private key name, 
and the password. We press OK when done to generate the file. Here it is. And now, if we open the folder where the file was created, we can see it there. Going back to the designer. Now, we don't need to worry about filling these parameters because Calypso copied them from for us. So we can press next again and select the target platforms. This property is used by Google Play to display or hide your application depending on the device resolution where the search is being performed. Press OK and wait for the APK to be generated. This process can take up to a few seconds. Finalizing the APK, it's almost done. Okay, now that we have the APK, we can either copy it into an Android device or we can run it, uh, sorry, or we can upload it to Google Play. I'm going to copy it to my Android device, so copy. I'm going to paste. Let me check if it is paste. Here it is. Okay. So now I can run it a file explorer on my Android device. So let me close the one from Windows Mobile. Launch another one for Android. Connecting, here it comes. So I'm going to open a file explorer, search for our APK. We can see it here, tutorial one APK. We say next to all these properties, to all these questions and install. App installed, we can open it. And here it is, working as expected, not from KClient, but directly from your own APK. It's also possible to install the APK from a link. So you can install it from Dropbox, for instance, just send the link over and click it. Congratulations, you've concluded a tutorial on how to install your Calypso application. See you on the next one.